particular aspect. So, for example, we talk, okay, we talk protest. Let's focus on discipline now. And that's a very good question. So, because of where football came from, um, you've always had, or sport, but football is ahead of all of the rest. You have, a, you, have an, a, you have protests and complaints, and then you have normal discipline, which can be on the field. There was a question asked about a referee's decision, and you can have discipline off the field. So, for example, Michael Murphy is a football boss, uh, let's say, or a player, and I do something terrible. You find out about it, you write articles, you refer to the prosecutor, and it turns out, and I might even do it in relation to a game, I might bribe, I might be corrupt, and let's say we know for a fact that I did it, um, what do we do? Is the question, did Vitz protest? No, the question is, it goes to a prosecutor via the processes, he investigates it, if he believes there's something to be dealt with, he will charge, the matter will be heard, and the club or player, or me, if it's me, will have the rights that I have in law, and hopefully if it's me, I can get off. So that's the one way it can arise, and those things come in Principally, some of them may come from you, as, as Nande pointed out, but principally they'll come through the match commissioner's report. So the match commissioner, uh, and there's also a referee's report, will say these things happened. Let's for, say, for example, the things were pushed down or something happened. Uh, I don't know the facts of, of the case you're referring to, but let's say the match commissioner there uh, says something about you know, a player uh, being fielded who, was in, who wasn't registered, so it was Michael rocked up and he put him on the field, then Nanda would have to decide. It's not for the club uh, to decide whether or not they protest the other team, um, but they may. Um, so, so that's the first way in which misconduct matters can arise. Nanda can tell us the, the percentages. I would reckon these days, I reckon now, I'm guessing, 90% probably arise like that. They don't arise as protests or complaints. In the old days, um, and that's pre the kind of pipe plastic stuff, which you can read if you're interested in it. In the old days, most matters arose as a result of protests or complaints. And those are akin to private prosecutions that you get in normal law. So just like in, in the case of football today, um, there can be a charge that the police effectively you know, uh, investigate um, and, and take, take ahead, or there can be a private prosecution. Now, this is akin to that. So if I'm a club that's directly affected, um, they wouldn't protest or complain if Michael took the field because it would advantage them. But let's say they got Lionel Messi off the plane and he ran on the field for sundowns against um, uh, Vitz and, and the referee said nothing and the match commissioner said nothing. I can guarantee you that Vitz would pro protest and complain, as you know, are different, different rules, timing and so on, but they would. And because they have an interest in it and their interest is a... That they want to get a sanction, and the sanction that they want is one that they think will, will, will fix up that unfairness. So, to, to answer your question simply, um, there, there are three categories. There's the normal kind of misconduct matter that arises, which is determined by the prosecutor totally independently. And that's not just because we're being good guys, it's what the NSL handbook says, it's a right clubs have. All participants have. We demand independent decision making, and he makes the decision, and it comes in in those various ways. Or um, a, a club or, or, or a player, in anybody, um, in, in certain circumstances, and the timing's different, and you can read these rules, read the NSL handbook, please, on the PSL website, look for NSL handbook, and then the protest and complaints are dealt with differently. Uh, and if a protest or complaint comes in, uh, then in our rules, it's, it's effectively, although it comes in to the prosecutor who will get it onto the roll, but it's effectively run by that club, that protest or complainer. Um, and that's because it's the private prosecution type scenario. But, so those are the differences. Yeah, but